Hey guys, welcome back to another Thrift Haul. Haven't done a Thrift Haul in a while. I've been promising one, promising you one, and actually recorded a bit of it. But I hadn't gotten around to having a quiet house to do the rest of the recording. So I decided to go ahead and just try to stern everything out here and show it to you because I still haven't showed you what I brought back from Chicago. And that was what, three weeks ago? So I have things from Chicago. And I have things from Houston, and I have a pair of Gucci pumps that you would not believe I picked up. About a week ago, a week or two ago, I picked up these beautiful, authentic Gucci. They still have the price on, but I did get a, ta a tad bit off with the discount. But you can see the soles, nothing, nowhere, nowhere whatsoever. They were either resold or... I don't know. I don't think so because even the toes in the front don't have any wrinkles on them, guys. I paid, I think with my discount, these came out to about $25. And I couldn't even touch a pair of Gucci pumps. I think I bought some Gucci loafers one year, also at a thrift store. I sure wish I hadn't gotten rid of them. They're like the classic Gucci loafer with the red and green, and they're just amazing. But, well, they were. I sold them. And then I think I had a couple of other pairs that my sister gave me, and I sold those too. But I vow not to sell these. <laughs> and they're very comfortable. And I totally love the pointed shoe. I hope you can see it pretty well there. I'm going to move the camera in a minute a little bit to the other side because I'm sitting on a chair that I also thrifted. But I'm putting on the Gucci pumps because I haven't even tried them on. I just saw them, and I was like, I have to have them. And actually, I didn't even see them, this lady. Oh, they look really cute, guys. I wish I could point the camera down. Can you see them? <laughs> They're so cute. Oh, my gosh. Sorry. I know this angle is probably awful, but oh, they're so cute. Oh, my goodness. I had not tried them on. They are amazing. So there's this lady that I see all the time at this particular Goodwill, and I've actually called her the ambassador of that Goodwill because she you could tell she's a total fashion plate. She talks about, she always, she's always talking to the ladies about how she used to work for, I forget if it was Saks or one of them. She was like a personal shopper. So she picks up the most amazing things all the time. I see her basket full of stuff that she's already grabbed off the racks of that particular Goodwill. And then I was complimenting her on these shoes that she was wearing and um, looking at in the mirror. And I thought they were just her shoes, but she was buying them that there, right there and then. And I said, those look just like Dorothy's shoes from The Wizard of Oz. But they were a platform. They were a slide mule platform, but they just had like a slight glitter effect to them where they look like Dorothy's shoes. I'm not kidding. And she said, oh, my God, I just picked them off the rack. And they're, um, I think she said they were Stuart White, Weitzman. And I think she said they were $10 or something. So she bought those. She goes, but I'm leaving. And then I think I said, I wear a seven. Did you see any other sevens or something? And she said, well, actually, I just saw a pair of Gucci back in the counter, behind the counter in a glass case that are size seven. So she hadn't told me I wouldn't have seen them. So, oh my gosh, I'm just so in love with them. Let me let you take another look at them. I just can't believe how absolutely new they are. And they're just, I mean, a classic design. Perfect heel size as well. Not even oversized, so, so sexy and feminine. I love them. And then this chair I got as well. I'm actually going to put my shoes back on because I cannot stand to be barefoot. <laughs> it's just not my thing. Even if you can't see my toes as we're talking, I have to have shoes on. And they feel so comfortable. They really do. And excuse the fact that I'm wearing leggings. I just put them on when I got home. I don't normally wear leggings out in public either. I had jeans on today. But this chair, guys, it says that it is made in Italy. In the, in the bottom, it says that. It says... Something about distressed paint. So it's got like a distressed paint job on it. And it's very heavy. So that's what I liked about it. Because you see a lot of chairs. You saw us looking at one the other night. But a lot of times it's just like that Hobby Lobby wood that will come apart, you know, within a couple of months, basically. But this is a very well-made chair. It says made in Italy. It says, um, I think it says Renaissance distressed finish or something on it. So it's got all the labels on the bottom. It's just a straight you know, side chair or whatever. I have it here in the living room. I actually have it underneath that uh, painting. I don't know if you if you recall that painting that had like the 
birch trees, so it's right under that. It kind of plays with that. I'm going to put it back. It's super cute. I paid eight dollars for this chair, and I think it might have even been five with the additional discount. Okay, now we're going to try to turn over here this way. Hopefully, the light will still be okay. And I'm going to show you this fabulous painting I got for two dollars. Let me just see who popped in the chat real quick. I have this hanging over at my bar, and it's kind of below eye level. I'm, I'm very, I don't know, I guess you would say eclectic in my decorating. I'll put something boho with something hippie with something uh, 1960s, something from your grandmother's attic. It's all in here, and it all brings me joy. So that one's in my bar, and I have an 80s home. I think I've told you before. So we do have a bar back there. All right, Lisa's there. Lee Reynolds. Barb, Seven Bells, Violet Brown. Thank you, guys. Yvonne, thank you for being here. Kit Hunt as well. And some things I did bring. Hey, Swamp, I did bring from Chicago. And some things, like I said in the title, back to Houston again. Hey, Liz. So I love this, guys. This is a true, real painting. You can feel all of it. It's on wood. It's not canvas. And it's got instructions in the back. It's actually got some instructions written on how to frame it or what to do to frame it. I don't know. But it's. I love it. I think it's just so pretty. It's like fall colors. It looks like a stagecoach in the back. And it's very, I mean, I don't know, it's very fall looking, I suppose, but I don't really care. You know, I just hang what I like. And as far as art, if I like it, if it speaks to me, to me, it's a very peaceful looking scene. Maybe an old English countryside or something. That's kind of what it reminded me of. And I just put it over there underneath my, my son's diploma degree from the University of Texas over there. And my degree's next to it. It's kind of what I just hung up at the bar some family photos, and then at the very bottom I put that. And when you stand over by the bar, you can actually just stand there and stare at it. <laughs> so I really like that. Hey, Kathleen, how are you? So, yeah, I do love that painting. That's one I got. Then I found, okay, this is Houston. So far we're just in Houston, Goodwill. I don't know if I told you that I collect these paperweights. I just love them. I don't even know what they're called, but this one reminded me of Saturn or something. It's just so pretty. It's green and blue. It's got like a little dollop in the middle there. Hope you can see it. And I think this was 99 cents. And I was surprised it had absolutely no chips. So I had these like all grouped together, but I decided to kind of string them around the house. So they're like everywhere now. And I just, I don't know, I really like them. I have one that's, um, you've probably seen all the ones I have. I have one that's the earth like a globe, I have an Easter egg one, I have a pig, but this one really spoke to me. I've never seen one that looks actually like a planet. Super heavy, super nice, just amazing. And these do really well, guys. If you guys sell, pick those up. Then we're just gonna go back and forth to Chicago and Houston. I actually had to buy a suitcase in Chicago. Now, luckily at that particular store, when you spend so much, you get 50% off. And I always spend so much. So the next day you can get 50% off, which is a Sunday. So I thought, well, I'll come back and you know look at the jewelry again. I picked up some more jewelry. You guys have seen my jewelry. But I bought a suitcase for $2. And it was like a pretty good size rolling suitcase and everything. It was more like for a child. Well, it looked like a child size, but it really wasn't because the little handle came up nice and high. So not, good thing I did because I got some pottery. I got this really pretty teapot. And it says, um, I don't know, it says it's made Japan. That's what I know it says in the teapot, dogwood something. I don't know. It's got butterflies, flowers. It's super sweet. I just love it. Hey, Kelly. Hey, Lee. Yes, I do love that painting. I really, really do. And it's just a very nice, clean teapot no chips or anything nice pretty colors and you can see I have a little bit of a collection going on over there that's where this is going as well then this is a haul and it's marked haul US one th number 377 I love this little picture I love the curled lip on it you see that it's just so pretty it's like perfect for 
you know, the breakfast table with some milk for your cereal or coffee. And um, that's another thing I got. This was, I don't remember. It was, the stuff was really, really inexpensive at that thrift store in Chicago that day, especially because I got everything for half off. So this was probably $2 as well. Then I believe I got this one in Houston for $2. A little candle burner. It is a 60s made in Japan. Also has the made in Japan tag down here. I love the bright colors. I love the little festive face on him. He just looks really cute and he's orange and kind of a blue color. Really like this one as well. And again, that was about $2. I just pulled off the tag of this one. It was a good well. And I got my scented candle in there too. That was Houston. This was the one you saw when I showed the, um, when we hauled from, from um, Chicago, someone mentioned, hey, is that made in Ireland? As we were going through the store and I went back and it was indeed, it is indeed made in Ireland. And it was marked 656, but I got it the next day. So I got it for like $3 and 25 cents. And it has the sweetest clovers all around it. And it is made in Ireland, it's porcelain. I believe it does have a gilding there on the edges that gold leafing or whatever it's called. Really pretty. Thank you guys again for joining me. It looks like 30 people are here, 26 or so. Hit that thumbs up on your way in or your way out. So I really like it and I'm glad someone pointed it out to me. That's what I love about thrifting live with you guys. The hall pottery is classic and the colors are just awesome. Yes, I really do like that one. And I love this one too. Another picture is this one. And I hadn't seen this one either until I rewatched the video. <laughs> And then I said, I'm going to go back Sunday and look for it. This is a Longenberger. And it's amazingly beautiful as well. It was marked $9.59, but I got it for about 5 that day in Chicago. I love the simplicity of it. It looks very um, colonial to me. So I really like this one too. And it's super, super heavy. This is the second picture that I find from um, Longenberger. I have another one that I found here. The good, no, at a estate sale. That's green. I like this short little stout uh, shape of it. It's got sort of a footed design as well. Lots of blue uh, trim on it down here, and then little swirls and flowers. So basically, it's a blue and cream color. Really, really cute. Hey, Laura Lopez, how are you? So this was a nice buy. Okay, let me check. There's two things from Chicago. Okay. Where's the other one? I got two of these in Chicago and I can't find the other one like this. Oh, it's right under it. So this kind of got me on a, on a copper kick because I found these in Chicago for $2. They're very nice and heavy too. Solid copper. I love the clover here as well. So my kitchen is now kind of, <laughs> Kind of go to undergoing a little bit of a change. I'm going to do some painting in there. I really want to give it kind of a, you know, the Tudor old English look with the old fashioned copper, shiny copper everywhere. So I started with these. They kind of got me on that kick. I haven't even completely cleaned the price off of this one. Look at this. I just wanted to hurry up and hang them up. And this is the little chicken. Look at it. Her. I love it. These are really well made. Their hangers are very nice. Hey, Doug, how are you? So that's another thing. And again, these were 2 to $3 in Chicago. That's why I had to buy a suitcase. So I did find all of these things there. Then I got this beautiful, beautiful throw. I put it back twice. I was like, no, I don't need it. No, I don't want it. No, it's not for me. It's a twin size. I don't even have a twin bit. But it's basically a twin size. Hand crocheted. I do not crochet, but I knit. And I can just imagine the hours put in to execute this amazing pattern. And so it's in. It's over there on my sofa that's across from me. I move sofas around too. Now I have a leather sofa across from me. And just this beautiful, beautiful, I guess it's a bedspread, honestly, because it's super long. So I think it's like for one of those 
long twin size. It's not wide enough to be a full or a queen, but I got this for five or two dollars. Two dollars. It was five. I got it for two fifty. Hi, Norma Rodriguez. How are you? So, oh my goodness, I get home from work. I go sit on that cold sofa. There's some feathers here from my pillows. I have some feathery pillows here. And uh, just cuddle up with this and watch some YouTube. I was watching a couple of things a minute ago. And uh, and it looks pretty. You know, once I fold it and everything, it looks really pretty on my sofa. So that's that in Chicago. Then I got this. And I guess I'll use this. I was thinking it was kind of um, kind of uh, fall, but I think it's kind of Easter too because this is bright peach and corals. So I think it would blend for both. So a really, really nice tablecloth. So I got this one as well. I think I got this one at Texas Thrift. I don't even remember, but it was very... Very inexpensive. I think it was two or three dollars. Yes, it's really nice. I think it's a, and it's even got texture on it. I don't know if you can see it there, but you can see that it's got like little nubs of texture and striping of texture. It might be a linen blend. I think it might be a linen blend because I washed it and it didn't come out all wrinkly. Oh, thank you, Barb. I appreciate it. Thank you guys for, for staying with me and watching. Then I got this. Now, this one is for Thanksgiving and Halloween, I guess. But look at the beautiful colors. I almost want to put it in my kitchen, you know, because it's it doesn't really scream the holiday. It just kind of really highlights the beauty of those pumpkins and gardens and all of that. So I love this one, too. And it is a zipper case. So I can put a – I haven't bought an insert for it yet. i got to buy an insert for it. But I just thought it was so cute. And this does also feel like a linen, kind of a thick, maybe even uh, like a, not a canvas, but definitely a linen blend of some sort. So I love this. This was really nice. Okay. Then I think I got this in here in Houston. I think it's Christmassy, but I'm not sure. It's Starbucks, though. Look at that. This is totally gold. Bright, shiny gold Starbucks mug. Really love this one. Hey, Donna. Thank you guys for being here. I'm sorry if I missed you. I didn't say hello. Lee is here. Estelle as well. Lisa Lemon. And um, I think everybody else I said hello to. So I love this. I think this one was only about a dollar. It says Starbucks in the middle there. Okay, that's another thing I got. And then I went to the bins. And I got six of these candles, guys. And they turned out to be about 99 cents a piece. They are by Cara, C-H-A-R-A, -A, soy candles. And they're only well, going to show you two, but I had six. I have cinnamon. Actually, I pulled out four, but there's two more over there. Sleigh bells. I don't know. It smells good to me. It doesn't even smell Christmassy or piney. But unburned, brand new at the bins. Really nice containers, too. Got that. What's this one? This one's Pansy. I smell amazing, and I'm so happy that they're soy. They were a little bit less than a dollar at the bins. And let me see. More candles. I love my candles. These were 49 cents. These are Christmas, and I don't care. Well, they say Macintosh. Apple Macintosh, so I'm not sure. Maybe they're not, but they're the little ones. They were 49 cents. I got those at the Goodwill. Love those. I couldn't resist these cards. I don't know why I love cards, but I do. Tablecloths will do great with your copper, right? Yeah, I can't wait to paint the kitchen. I really can't. I've never done anything with that 80s wallpaper behind me, but it's you know it doesn't peel or anything. It's like really well. Well done. And I kind of like it. I mean, I'm not sure yet, but I, it's either the cabinets or the entire kitchen, but I'm definitely doing the cabinets. I'm thinking of kind of a sage celery green for the cabinets. And okay, so these are Zodiac made in Japan as well. Just playing cards. <laughs> I just think they're so cool. But yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. And then I'm thinking of even doing like one section that I have where my coffee bar is. 
there's one cabinet there. Basically, it's two, and then there's a, a tall one above the fridge. I'm thinking of leaving the one on the fridge and doing the other one with open shelving. Not glass or anything, but just like just shelving with the brackets. I've seen so many pretty pictures on Pinterest, and I'm just totally intrigued. All right, then I found this the other day. You might have seen it on my Instagram. It plays Beethoven's Fifth. And I actually bought it for my son who told me the other day when I was visiting Chicago, he said, as long as you go to, to estate sales, look for unique whiskey bottles. I'm starting a collection. So it's really nice because you sit it down and it depresses something there so it doesn't play. And then you pick it up to pour a little bit and it plays again. And it's not even chipped. It's so beautiful. It just needs the cork or some kind of stopper there but isn't that wonderful and i got this for five dollars i believe aren't those cute miss chris so i love 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 this this is so pretty and it's in my bar right now i have another portable bar <laughs> and i don't even drink that much occasionally I drink then i found these uh for my other for my daughter who collects pineapples this one says 19 these are numbered and signed J. There's only two, and I don't really know. I guess you could serve maybe some nuts or something, but they're just so cute. Little pineapple dishes. So I couldn't resist those. There's two of those. And then another whiskey bottle. This is a little high. But it says 1969 Field Birds. So this is also going to my son. It says 1969 Field Birds Ring Necked Pheasant Edition by Field Birds. And then on the bottom, it's got, you know, all of the, it says American Whiskey. And this is milk glass. Oh, my gosh. And it does have the stopper and everything. And it doesn't even smell like whiskey anymore. It smells just clean. Isn't that beautiful? And this was $8.50. A little high for that thrift store. I mean, but I didn't even look up the comps or anything on eBay. I have feeling that things like this may sell a little bit higher than $8.50, especially being milk glass. And um, I don't know, I guess whiskey connoisseurs kind of collect the bottles and stuff. I don't know, but it does have a really beautiful picture there. And it's got all the information, including the date, 1969 American whiskey. So I just found this. I think it was, uh, I think it was, Sunday, just Sunday. Then, oh, I love the Mallards. I love trays. I love Odagiri, and it's all packaged here in this beautiful lacquer tray that you can't see because of the lights. I'm just to move it. There it is. And it's got gold corners. Really beautiful lacquer. And then in the back, it's got the signature Japan Odagiri. And it also has the instructions on how to clean lacquer. And he's gilded too. He's actually got some gilding going on. Really, really beautiful. Sorry about the lighting in here, guys. So um, I'm going to probably put this at my bar, but I'm not going to put any bottles on it because I'm afraid it may get stained with wine or something, I would hate to lose it. But I'm gonna put uh, probably some glasses on it and just kind of make everything come together with this really beautiful tray, vintage Odegiri. I just love it. There it is there. And this one was only $4. My husband is outside. Let me go tell him I'm live. Be right back. Walking in these Gucci shoes. Okay. I'm live. Right here in the living room. <laughs> I feel shh. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm back. All right, the tray. Oh. More candles, guys. I just love them. These are soy as well. Scented tapers. They say palm wax. And um, what does it say? I think these were a dollar. 
Aloha Bay, they're purple, pur pure vegetable palm wax. That's what it says on those. I like these too. <laughs> Okay, more copper. I went to, uh, I came back with the copper bug from Chicago. So I went on Craigslist, not Craigslist, what's the other one? Facebook Marketplace. And I found someone selling 13 pieces of copper, or was it 15 pieces of copper for, for $12? So this was one of them. Cutest bunny ever. And, um, Love this one, seashell as well. Yeah, this is my first purchase from Facebook Marketplace. Marketplace. Do you people buy? Do you guys buy from there? Anybody in the chat ever bought anything on the marketplace or sell? I don't. I bought a sewing machine on offer up. I really haven't bought too too much. And then this one, also from that guy. And oh, I didn't bring the canister set, but I got a canister set as well. And it's just three pieces tea, flour, really well made, really heavy as well. I forgot to bring it in the other room. And um, tea, flour, and sugar. And then uh, the salt and pepper shakers, big, chunky little salt and pepper shakers as well. All of that was in the set. And one more thing, what was it? it was, oh, it was a little canister. Probably a little bit bigger and taller than this, and it said gourmet on it. I'm just going to put probably an IV in it or something. I just like it. And then these two were also part of it, and I do love these copper things. They're so cute. Here's one. And here's the other one. And again, that was 13 pieces all together. 15 pieces for $12. He had him for 15, but I offered him 12 when he took it. You know me, I'm always offering high one. So I believe that is it from that that I have around me. Hope I didn't forget anything. Then in here, I got a package of Kleenex. They're, they're the portable Kleenex that you carry in your purse. These have little Christmas stockings, but I don't care. And then I got some of these candles, too. These are the little Voltus, Voltus, right? Scented as well. Lemon breeze. And these were also 99 cents. This was, this is a package of six for 99 cents. I got a brand new Yankee. No, this is Babin. I had so many candles, it's ridiculous. Oh, it is a Yankee. Brand new Yankee candle. Ooh, this one smells good. What's this one called? Babsam, no, balsam cedar. Balsam cedar, it's kind of purpley, and it was $4. And I may have gotten a discount that day. Brand new, so I got that too. Can't leave the Yankee candles behind when they're that cheap. Sometimes they price them high, though. I just never know. Another one, this is the wick burning ones. It smells really good, too. Wood wick. Makes that, that crackling wood sound. And this one was $2, also brand new. And oh, there's some more stuff over there. Let me get it. More napkins. I can't resist the napkins. I always scan them, though, as I've told you a few times. If they have a barcode, if they're unique, if they're really expensive brand, you can kind of tell which ones are like creative papers. They sell on Amazon, guys. I've sold napkins for up to $20. These are 99 cents. And on Etsy as well, especially the vintage ones or the vintage paper. This one is, I think, from... This is regularly $3. Cypress, it's also a Christmas one. But a lot of these I just save for myself as well. I love this one with the twall, also 99 cents. We will pick those up. And then I got this cute mirror. Let me get it up here. Oh, more art. <laughs> Forgot I had more art over there. This was only $2, I believe. Very heavy, too. And you can hang it. It's interesting, but you can hang it this way. Oops, sorry about that. And Or this way. Very nice wood. I hope you can see that. 
like the two shades of wood there. All right, that was only two dollars, guys. And then what else? I gotta put all this back. Here's the first painting I showed you. If I don't knock anything down, let me go get the other one. It's on the other side of the sofa. And I haven't found a permanent place for this one. It's kind of leaning on my desk in my, that I just put, I just put a desk in my other room. In my piano room, I put a corner desk. And this one's just kind of leaning there. I'm not sure where I want to put this one. It's also canvas. I think it's acrylic. I'm not sure. I'm not schooled in art, but I know what I like. And this one was, I think, about four dollars as well. They're really cheap. Sometimes they overpriced. Well, I don't think they're overpriced actually. Sometimes they underprice them, and then other times you'll see things for two hundred dollars. They actually did have a huge, huge painting, two of them the other day for two hundred dollars each. Okay, let me show you what else I got. A couple more things. I couldn't resist getting this because I always need another seat. And I think this is a perfect seat. Though it looks like a drum, it is copper. It has a felt bottom there. But uh, I like it for just the corner here. If somebody needs a seat, they can sit on it, put a drink on it, put a plant on it. That I think was about $4. Okay, then I got a wall pocket. I'm not sure if I showed you this already. This was all Houston. And um, this one's signed too. I, forgot, I don't know what it says. I think it says Japan as well. But it's so pretty in the rose pink with golding, gilded edges, edges rather. All around it, there's a hole there. But you, it also stands very nicely. So it can be a vase, I guess, or a wall pocket. Really pretty, and that's in my piano room right now. Also with a few other things that are pink and some um, books and things. Then I did order a lot of books on eBay, a lot of decorating books and Laura Ashley books. I won't bore you with all of that, but I did get a whole bunch of new books in here that are just stacked all over my coffee table. And I can't wait to dig into those. So, yeah, I think it's a cool seat. I really like it. So, all right, guys, I'm going to let you go. That is the thrift haul. I'm glad I finally was able to get it to you because it was just getting kind of crowded in here. I had it in my lane chest. Some of it, some of it I had already put away. I'm going to go ahead and hang them back up. Thank you so much for coming in. Don't forget to come back and watch another video. I'll probably do a jewelry jar tomorrow or yeah probably tomorrow i hope to see you at my auction at facebook on saturday i'm there every saturday at 5 p.m and if you're not a member all you have to do is request it it's thelma thrift members only on facebook and uh, just request to be a member of the group and you can check out my auctions every saturday at 5 p.m thank you again guys i really do appreciate everyone popping in so late at night to see my haul i hope you enjoyed it give me a thumbs up on your way out